Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Quartet Risu Machine. So for today's story time, we're going to be talking about Chris Sell's ex going under my videos and deleting her comments. So, if you guys haven't watched the part 2, this is the update of part 2. I'll put the part 2 up here. So a lot of people have been asking me if the girl actually saw my video that I made of her. Before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It's free. The notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be down below for your convenience. And yeah, you guys, let's get started. So as you guys know from last story from part 1, I will tell you guys how, you know, she tried to threaten me to, you know, delete my videos and then she reported the video. So in my head, I'm like, okay, you reported a video. Of course, I know I did not do anything bad. So that's when I also wrote YouTube back and told them, you know, I'm not cyberbullying or anything. So at that time, her comment was still under my video. Like, she was saying can you please delete these videos and stuff like that and then she was commenting that on both videos that i made of her because her name are on both videos right so i just gotta give it to you guys you guys are good at doing your research okay because a lot of you guys have found the video and mind you, this video was from four years ago okay like the video i made of this girl was four years ago and some of you guys were able to listen to the story time and find that video so like i gotta give it to you guys you guys are good at doing your research like wow and some of you guys were actually like commenting under that video and i'm like wow Y'all really like know how to look for things. Y'all need to work for the FBI or something, okay? Anyways, guys, so you guys already know from part one, like I said, you know, she reported my video, you did not get deleted, and the video is still up to right now, right? Y'all can go watch it. Some of you guys may want to find the video, you guys go ahead and do that. So as I told you guys on part one, I left the girl on red. So two days after being left on red, she sent me another message. She was like, hey girl, I saw it again. I left her on red. And then later on that day, she was like, Hey girl, what can we work on? And I was like, at this point, like I told you, we cannot work on anything anymore because the approach that you had in this whole situation was just the worst. Like, I just can't. Like, at this point, like, my video is going to stay up there like it has been for the past four years. And I see that you reported my videos. And then she was like, yes, I did because you also did not want to cooperate with me. And I was like, okay, so I did not want to cooperate with you. Why are you here? Asking me once again, what can we work on? My videos are reported already. Let's see what YouTube will do. Because at that time, remember, I did not know if YouTube would delete my videos or not. I was literally just telling myself that, girl, stand your ground. This girl is not going to come here and threaten you or bully you to delete a video that you worked hard on. Because let me tell you guys something, okay? It's not easy to sit in front of a camera, record. It sometimes takes hours to record a video and hours to edit the video. Then it takes at least another hour to upload it on YouTube then find the tags and all that good stuff so it's not easy to sit here and do this whole social media thing my next video I'll film will be about you know the truth or what people do not tell you guys about social media because people really think it's easy it doesn't just take sitting down and filming like it's not as easy as it looks so I'm like I'm not gonna let this girl bully me or like threaten me to delete a video that I worked hard for and mind you like that was four years ago why didn't you come back like a year after? You waited four years though? Oh, all right, because you were also chasing clout, right? So she was like, oh, I just think that YouTube is going to delete that video. Like I told you, it's bullying. I was just trying to ask you nicely. And I was like, let's just see what YouTube does. She was like, all right, let's see. And then I left home right again. In my head, I was like, I just hope my video don't get deleted because I know I did not do anything wrong. So I guess from both ends, it was like the waiting game going on. I was waiting to see what YouTube have done based on her complaint. And on her end, she was hoping that YouTube deletes the videos. But thankfully, the result was that her complaint was not approved and my videos did not get deleted. So at the end of the day, I went and she loses. That's why at the end of part one, I was like, I'm sure she's big mad because her complaint wasn't approved and my videos are still up there. So that's the update, you guys. If there's anything else, I'll come back and make another story time telling you guys what is going on but so far so good my videos are still up there like i said you guys can go ahead and find that video i do not care at the end of the day i literally just gave my two cents i did not bully anyone i just gave my opinion and that was that I, I didn't go there and made up lies literally i was reacting to a video that she made literally and giving my two cents like freedom of speech this is america you know Anyways, you guys, that's it for today's story time. I know it was a quick and short one, but it was just to keep you guys updated because a lot of you guys have been DMing me, asking me, you know, what happened next? Did she DM you again? Hi, guys. So as I was editing this video, I realized that I did not mention this, but 
the girl went and deleted all her comments under my videos after her let's see as in let's see what youtube will do since she reported my videos so yeah she went ahead and deleted all the comments she left under my videos and she probably thought it was gonna get deleted but it didn't like i said i won she lost and yeah you guys moral of the story is be very careful when it comes to like threatening people on social media especially when you want them to do something for you because i feel like if she have came to me like woman to woman in a nicer way i could have just went ahead and deleted it like i said it's been four years you know because i worked something out like I, I told you guys on part one i told you guys what my work something out was you know it wasn't nothing like blackmailing or nothing like that so i just felt like she took this situation the wrong way it could have been handled a better way and i also want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think and before you give me your opinion right Make sure you have watched part one, because by watching both, you can understand better. You know, you can see where I'm coming from. But uh, yeah, that's why I say I'm sure she's big man. Okay? But yeah, you guys, thank you so much once again for listening to me. And yeah, thank you for watching the video. Continue watching the video to the end. So All right, you guys, at the end of today's story time. So for you guys asking me if she saw my video about her threatening me, I think she did. But it's just that, like I said, I left her on red after her let's see. And I'm never going to answer to her again. Like, any DM she sends me, any message she sends me, I'm not answering. I'm done. Like, she tried to report my video. She lost. My video is still up there, and that's it. If there's any update, I'll let you guys know. But so far, that is all. That is it. My video is still up there. Like I said, you guys can go find it. Watch it. You guys will see that I did not bully anyone. I literally just gave my two cents. And that was that. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It is free to notification bell on, so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link are down below for your convenience and i'll catch you guys on my next one bye guys